Higdon Outdoors Television is brought to you by Heavy Shot, the industry leader in performance shot shell ammunition. Power Calls, unleash the power. Yukonuba, the official dog food of Higdon Outdoors. Momarsh, hunt hard, hide easy. What's up guys, Kyle Jones. Uh, we are here in Northern Saskatchewan with Smoke'em Outfitters. We watched this field yesterday and there's a bunch of birds in it, just kind of spread out. So what we've got, we've got a north wind. The birds are roosting directly north of us about half mile. We've got just these decoys spread out. We've got our brand new lessers, first hunt over those guys, so we're super excited. We've got a mixture of our full-size goose decoys and our alphas, just to kind of show you know, that we've got the numbers, uh, but we've also, you know, the size really, really helps with those alphas. We've got an A-frame style homemade blind uh, that we're gonna be hunting out of. We've got a four mile per hour wind, and hopefully we're gonna tear them up. Stay tuned. So what I've started doing this year on our decoy trailer is running a big 50 inch sea light light bar on top of it. And trust me, you don't wanna look directly into it, but you can see what it does out here. You know, all of us are still running headlamps for putting the decoys together. But you don't have to. You know, uh, Bo behind me, he came all the way from Portland with no headlamp for whatever reason. <laughs> but uh, this is awesome, dude. This 50 lights up this whole field. Easy to put out decoys. Heck, man, it's easy to do anything out here with these big light bars. They make what we do and what you do a whole lot easier. You know, we put 10,000 miles a year on enclosed trailers, and it's the first time we've run a bar like this, and it's definitely not gonna be the last. So we've got Kyle Jones in the blind this morning on a goose call. We've got Bo Brooks on a goose call, and then we have Ben, myself, and Brooke on a gun. We're running right now about seven dozen full body geese. We will run about a dozen mallards just cause there's a few ducks in here and some spinners, but we're gonna try to put them right down here in front of us using these goose decoys. Bang them up, get out of here, head back to Steve's, eat some breakfast and call it a day. I'm getting ready to summon the Kraken while I come up out of here. Heavy X, three inch number twos. Heavy X, the pattern density, it throws a wicked pattern, but then you throw the tungsten in there and it, it just hits hard. And you'll see it, you'll see it on some of these big geese here. Um, a lot of guys shoot BB at geese, always shoot as twos because just how hard that tungsten blend hits is unbelievable. <laughs> Bo came a long way to call it crows. Bo, ducks, 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 Bo, ducks, Bo, Bo, ducks. Oh, sorry. I just kidding. I was just tired of hearing you crow call. Watch this. I'll hit him right there. <laughs> hit, hit him on the corners. Hit him on the corners. Back right, Kevin. <laughs> Kill that bird. Good shot. shot man. man. I'm drinking coffee. <laughs> more yeah, yeah. That's what we hope they do every single flock. Because if that if they do that, that's gonna be nasty. Back. Birds are picky. And when it comes to choosing the right blind, you should be too. At Momarsh, our waterfowling philosophy is simple. To have the most success, you need to be mobile, comfortable, and concealed. Whether it's shallow water, the field, or a spot for your best friend, Momarsh has you covered. Come see what the ducks can't. Hunt hard, hide easy. Momarsh. Kill 
Kill him! <laughs> Talk about a jumbo. Yep. Oh, the big goose. Oh, I, I, I looked up through there and I saw his legs and I'm like, oh boy, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm a duck man, but watching geese do that, big B-52's coming in almost vertical, it's pretty hard to beat that. That's pretty good. That's pretty sexy. That's a big goose. Look at the size of that goose right there. A mo look, that is a masa. <laughs> He's double the size of that other little dude. Yeah. That's the cool thing about hunting here in these big migration pattern states is that you get such a variety of the geese. So you get ones that are just a little bit bigger than mallards and then you get the ones like that. That's, yeah, that's fun, man. It's cool. You on him, Kevin? Let's kill this bird. Hey guys, I'll, I'll get this goose here. It's gonna be a pretty, you got this one without you, man. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna grab this one. Nine steps, that's great, thank you. <laughs> thank you for pitching in. Oh, that boon, he's, he's a worker. The goose is almost as big as him. Kill him on that get side. Him, get him, get him, get him. Good, Good shot. shot. That's shooting. That's good shooting. I think that was the old Ben Jammin Higdon. Pretty sure old Benjamin's down there railing on some. This is good. You know, it's good. It's good. He, he deserves to get out of the office every once in a while. He's putting a freaking hurt on, too. Directly out front, Kevin. Directly out front. Kill him. Directly out front, Kevin. Directly out front. Kill him. Good shooting, guys. My God. You guys are freaking. <laughs> They're out for blood today. Maniacs. They are out for blood today. You know, I just want everybody to know that if it wasn't for the remote worker, that that wouldn't have happened. Nobody ever gives me any credit, though. I hold the power. I'm getting a lot of snack eating and coffee drinking <laughs> done on this end. Yeah. Pair on the right, pair on the right, pair on the right. Do we want to kill this one? Yes. Kill him. Hit him, hit him, hit him. I only had one shell in my gun. For 2019, these are our brand new full-size Canada Goose decoys. They're much similar to our old style full sizes, about the same size, so they're gonna mimic more of your lesser style Canada Goose. But we wanted to get more in depth. We wanted more feather detail. We wanted more range of motion. We got a one piece Canada Goose decoy, great flocking, very, very durable paint. It's got a great motion system. This is gonna be featured in all of our new decoys for 2019. So even on a little bit of wind, it's still gonna bounce around and give it that lifelike feeding motion. One piece, I'm super, super excited, especially for the Canada Goose guys. I know that they've been begging for those for a really, really long time. It's so gonna come in a few different head options here. You can see that sentry looks awesome. The feather detail, that motion, just that little bit of motion, guys, is, is huge. So look for these in 2019, kill a bunch of geese over them. The call industry has evolved. Years of research, a new scientific approach, and revolutionary materials have all led to this. The world's best calls designed by the world's best callers. Custom precision machined acrylic and carbon fiber calls. Titanium guts that are worn in and never wear out. Faster, louder, and more responsive tones than the world has ever heard. Power calls. Try one today and unleash the power.
Oh god. Kill him, Ben. Kill him. Get him. Oh. <laughs> Kill him, Ben. Kill him. Get him. Oh. <laughs> mm, there's a bunch of geese coming. Straight out, straight out, single, single, straight out. <laughs> Boone, kill that bird. You hit him that first shot. I know two people hit him that second one because I saw <laughs> two. I saw. <laughs> Woof, woof. I was like, oh! <laughs> there's, there's a group of four circling around the back of the blind. Watch these four on the right. Watch these four on the right. Come back around, hit that single. Dang, it. Back. We're gonna take what we can get. We got birds flying everywhere. A lot of birds are preventing some flocks from setting in because they short, they cross cut them or intersect them. And so we're we're having to deal the, the hand we're dealt. <laughs> Kill him, kill him, kill him. Nice shot. I've got my fellow Washingtonian, Bo Brooks, here with me today. And uh, we sat next to each other inside the blind. And whenever you have two pretty proficient callers, it's easy to kind of step on each other's toes. But we talked it out before the hunt. And that's so important is, is making sure you know who's leading, who's following. I'd hear him do a note and I'd come back through with another note, whether it was a cluck or a moan, to make it sound more realistic and make it sound like more geese in our spread. You know, if you've communicated that and then he knows to follow or he knows to lead, it's super, super easy. Let's do a little demonstration here. Um, I would do a moan or a cluck or something. He'd follow it with a cluck or a quick spit. So then it sounds, you know, it sounds like a couple different geese. Ready? There you have it. aren't your grandmother's decoys. Higdon Outdoors foam-filled decoys. Tough, unsinkable, bulletproof. Get him! <laughs> Hashtag heavy X. I've never been so excited about three geese my entire life. Are those big geese? They're big geese. I thought those things no, were turkeys when I first saw them. They're I... they're big geese. <laughs> We're gonna kill the single. <laughs> Somebody kill him. And the decoy. Oh, look at the size difference.
Kevin on that single. We got four, four coming in. Watch the ball. Oh, there's four below him. There's four below him. Good shot, oh, guys. Get him! Good shot, guys. Today was, it was interesting. Very, very little wind, so it was hard to direct those birds on where to land. So they were just kind of spread out. So it, it made for a tough morning, but you know, we still, we still had a really good day. Our shooting was on point. We made the most of it, but the cannons that we shot finished perfect. All right guys, so just kind of giving you an overview of our goose decoys. We brought out and hunted over our full-size Canada Goose decoys and our alphas. As you'll see here, our alphas are the size of a regular residential goose or a giant Canada goose, maybe even the westerns. You know, your 10 to 13 pound Canada goose. So they're gonna stand out a little bit more. Uh, they got a great motion system in them. But then you compare those next to our full-size Canada Goose decoys, it's gonna be more like your lessers. You can even go over on the west coast, hunt cacklers with them. Still same great motion system, really, really dark. So they show up from a long ways away. But yeah, if you want to build a giant spread, run all the lessers or all the full-size Canada goose decoys, or even step up to the big boys and be seen from a long ways away. True giant Canada geese. A lot of those older birds will get those. They call them the gray eyebrow. It's pretty cool. Golly, look at that. I... Oh man, I can't even hold it up. That's a quill. Where? Yeah, and it's trying. So we're hunting real close to the Quill Lakes in Saskatchewan, and it's kind of cool. It's almost like shooting a band. There's a quill goose. So what a quill goose is, it'll have a little different discoloration, mainly white across the breast. Reverse speckle belly, in a sense. It's like it's a Canada goose with a punch of white. A lot of times you'll get those big white bars a lot of guys get them with white all over, white on the feet. It's pretty cool and it's pretty rare as well. <laughs>